Under the old uh, regime prior to the 1st of October uh, of 2010, uh, obviously, discrimination existed in various shapes and forms. We had the Age Discrimination Regulations, the Sex Discrimination Act, the Race Relations Act, all in different pieces of legislation, some of them uh, by way of regulations, others by way of statute. All of this is brought together in the Equality Act in Section 4. Section 4, if you like, transforms those areas of discrimination into protected characteristics, new buzzword that, or buzzwords that we'll need to uh, come to terms with. Those are, in effect, the grounds upon which discrimination will be declared unlawful. The grounds are largely replicated in uh, Section 4 and Sections 5 through to 12, and they are those that we have come to know under the, under the old uh, legislation. Interestingly enough, as the uh, Act was uh, going through royal assent and going through Parliament, uh, there was a movement from our Welsh cousins to put in Welsh speaking as a particular protected characteristic. Unfortunately, that didn't make it through, neither did uh, having a genetic uh, predisposition. As far as sections 5 through to 12 are concerned, the explanation of the characteristics, the grounds of discrimination, remain largely unchanged. There are a few uh, minor uh, changes, particularly in relation to disability, which I will come back to. Please note, though, uh, Section 7. Under the old regime of the Sex Discrimination Act, uh, it was the case that someone who was going through a change of gender, i.e. under the Gender Reassignment Regulations, had to be under medical supervision in order to qualify to bring such a claim. Under the Equality Act of 2010, the requirement of being under medical supervision has been removed. It is no longer the case uh, that claimants will have to be supervised by an appropriate doctor or a relevant medical practitioner to bring a claim. As long as they come within the wording of Section 7, which makes no reference to being under medical supervision, they will be able to claim discrimination against their employers. To that end, uh, and in those circumstances, it's more claimant-friendly than it used to be.